Simon, I know medical pavilion is your man. But you might want to cogitate with this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then rapture leaks. Now, I realize you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. I met Ryan the day me and the lads were installing the bathroom plumbing up in his Posh Park Avenue digs. Oi, says he. What's with all the brass fittings? General contractor had me down for the tip. Well, I says, I suppose it's the contractor then who'll be bailing out your loot once a fortnight, is it? If it's a price you're worried about, I'll be picking up the brass, so not to worry, Squire. And why would you be doing that, says he? Well, Mr. Ryan, profit or not, no man bells water out of pre Rapture's changing, but Ryan can't see the walls in the woods. He's Fontaine fellow. He's a crook and a proper tea leaf, but he's got the Adam, and that makes him the governor. He's sinking the profits back into bigger and better plasmids, building them Fontaine poorhouses, <laughs> like Fontaine recruiting centers. Before we know it, Bo's gonna have a, an army of splicers. We're gonna have ourselves a whole heap of miseries. Mr. Ryan, I believe in Rapture, but that doesn't mean we always win. Fontaine Futuristics is the biggest thing going in Rapture, so let me be plain. When we arrest that towrag Fontaine for his thieving and smuggling, we must make it clear that we won't touch his business interests. We sit on the council because these poor sods trust us, not because God gave us a... Ryan nationalized Fontaine Futuristics. He owns it now, knock stock and barrel. For the good of the city, he says. He'll break it up in due time, he says. I've resigned from the council and lodged me letter of protest, but that's just pissing in the wind. It'll be war, I say. Unless somebody stops Ryan and ride fast. I never killed a man, let alone a mate. But this is what things come to. I don't know if killing Mr. Ryan will stop the war, but I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan, but I love Ratchet. If I have to kill one, it strikes me that Fontaine wasn't overly inconvenienced by his own demise. On New Year's Eve, these wretched splicers come streaming out of the poorhouses and stormed the proverbial barricades. The dead rot in the streets, and Johnny and Janie's citizen are lined up round the block for plasmids. Anything to help fend off the rabble. <laughs>